Struggling to see real returns from your Microsoft 365 subscription? Most setups actually waste hours you could reclaim. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to unlock extra value from Microsoft 365, and it's much simpler than you think. So let me start by highlighting a common mistake smaller clients often make as they scale. I had a client who started out using OneDrive and setting up standalone SharePoint sites before anyone even touched Microsoft Teams. Initially, it seemed manageable, but soon they ran into trouble. Files got duplicated, people defaulted to private chats, and even worse, when staff left, critical information vanished. Their setup had no clear center of gravity. Instead of simplifying their work, they unintentionally created chaos and spent hours just trying to manage it. Why does this matter? Because Microsoft Teams isn't just about chat. It silently builds the foundation that everything else in Microsoft 365 connects to. If you skip Teams or delay setting up properly, you're making your work harder and wasting valuable time. If you want to avoid this chaos and actually simplify your workflows, Teams has to come first. Here's exactly how you do it. So step one, create one central team that includes your entire organization. If you're enterprise level, aim for roughly a thousand users per team as a guideline. Step two, encourage your team to work openly. Instead of private chats, use app mentions, threaded conversations. This keeps context visible and eliminates hours wasted searching for information. Step three, embed SharePoint planner and lists directly inside your central team. Don't scatter them randomly across multiple locations. This one simple shift transforms Microsoft 365 from a confusing tangle of disconnected apps into a unified workspace. And once you've built this solid foundation, everything else becomes easier. However, even with a solid team structure, there's still one big mistake that can bring confusion back into the picture. Imagine your office had a separate meeting room for every single topic. 10, 20, maybe even 50 rooms. Now imagine trying to have just one clear conversation. Where do you go? It's not just confusing, it's impossible. Yet that's exactly what happens when you create a new channel for every process, project, or department right from the start. Every extra channel adds friction. Too many channels means more places to check, more duplicated files, and more messages that get missed. The result? confusion, silos, and chaos, exactly what you were trying to avoid. Here's how you simplify your channels without sacrificing structure or collaboration. Step one, start with just one channel. Yes, one. This is your main feed until it genuinely becomes overloaded. Step two, keep your conversations clear by using app mentions and threaded replies within this single channel. You'll quickly find you can manage far more than you expected without splitting things apart. Step three, when it's finally time to add channels, do it deliberately. Only create new channel when there's consistent, heavy collaboration around a specific topic. Aim for around five to 10 people per channel as a general guideline. For example, you might have one dedicated channel for your top 10 clients and another capsule channel for everything else. Bonus tip, never create channels solely for file storage. You can upload and organize documents anywhere, always structure channels around collaboration, not storage. So now that your communication is streamlined, it's time to tackle another hidden time waster. Imagine a physical office filled with filing cabinets, each stuffed randomly with papers you need to do your job. Every time you open a drawer, you're forced to rummage through piles, hunting for that one crucial document. And the more papers you add, the more cabinets you need, making it even harder and slower to find anything. Now imagine replacing that mess with just one filing cabinet and 48 perfectly labeled drawers. Projects for what you're working on now, areas for your repeating responsibilities, resources for helpful references, archive for the old stuff you might need someday. Suddenly everything has a clear place and finding what you need takes seconds not minutes. This is exactly what the power method does. It declutters your digital filing cabinet so your brain doesn't have to do all the heavy lifting. When people can't find what they need, they waste time searching. Ask others to resend things or worse, recreate work from scratch. 
And if you've ever opened a folder tree and thought, where do I even start? You're not alone. And every unnecessary click is like a little productivity tax. <laughs> if your folder structure feels more like a maze than a map, here's how to apply power so your folders serve you instead of slowing you down. Step one, if your files fit neatly in one screen, skip creating folder entirely. Folders should reduce clutter and not add to it. Step two, pin the files your team is actively working on right now at the top. No one should have to click five times to reach something they use every day. Step three, move older or less used documents into clear resources or archive folders. Then set a simple retention policy like manual quarterly reviews or an automated policy to move or delete anything that's no longer active. These simple steps let you spend less time managing documents and more time actually getting work done. But files alone are only part of the solution. If you skip what I'm about to show you next, you'll still end up creating noise, tasks will slip through the cracks, and important things will simply not get done. Think about it this way. Managing your team's work without visibility is like trying to complete a jigsaw puzzle in the dark. You know all the pieces are there somewhere, but you can't see what's done, what's missing, or how it all fits together. What happens next? You constantly check in, you repeat yourself, you waste precious time just searching for the next piece. Tools like Planner, Microsoft Lists, and Power Automate are like flipping on the lights. Suddenly everyone sees the full picture, clearly. Missing pieces stand out, progress becomes obvious, and you don't need another meeting just to ask, where are we up to? Did you know the average team spends hours each week in meetings just to check progress or chase updates. Why does this happen? Because the actual work lives hidden in people's heads or buried in inboxes, not in one visible place everyone can access. But how do you do that? Well, let me show you how to make your work visible, predictable and automated without overwhelming your team. Step one, add a planner board to every active channel capture tasks they pop up during chats and meetings so nothing slips through. Step two, create a Microsoft list to clearly track projects and tasks across departments or even the entire company. Leaders instantly get a bird's eye view, no more spreadsheet chaos. And step three, use Power Automate to set up simple workflows and approvals. That means no more, can you quickly approve this emails? Just click approve and move on. Now your day-to-day -day work practically runs itself, less chasing, fewer meetings, more productivity. But there's still one crucial piece missing. Without this, you'll continue overusing the wrong tools and injecting unnecessary noise into your organization. Imagine stepping into a bustling city for the first time. There are busy streets, towering buildings, and constant traffic, but no street signs, no maps, no directions. You're late for an important meeting. You urgently need to find a specific office, but every person you ask shrugs or points you in conflicting directions. You waste precious minutes walking in circles, retracing your steps and feeling increasingly frustrated. That confusion is exactly what your team experiences without a well-designed, clear intranet. They don't know where the policies are. They aren't sure what's happening in the business. They have no idea what's important right now. But a good intranet acts like a Google Maps for your organization. It clearly shows everyone where to go, what's new, and what matters most, whether they've been at the company for years or just joined yesterday. When you create a simple SharePoint communication site and pair it with tools like Copilot, you stop answering the same questions repeatedly because the answers are already there, easy to find. Ask yourself, where do people in your organization currently go for company news, policies, or announcements? If the answer is somewhere on SharePoint or I'll forward you the email, that's a big red flag. A poorly designed intranet leads to repeated questions, missed updates, and confusion about what's important. Most teams end up ignoring their intranet because it's clunky, outdated, or hidden in plain sight. So how do you build a clean, simple, top-level intranet 
without the usual complexity. Let me show you exactly how. Step one, set up a SharePoint communication site and make it your homepage for internal communications. Step two, post a concise weekly company brief featuring curated updates, key wins and clear priorities. Just enough signal, zero noise. Step three, upload your policies, SOPs and essential links and train Copilot or Microsoft Search to instantly surface answers whenever someone types a question. This becomes your team's digital HQ. No more wasted time asking, where do I find that? Because now they already know. But even though you now know how to optimize your Microsoft 365 setup to save time and reduce chaos, if you don't structure it the right way for your specific team size and business model, it's all still going to break under pressure. So book a call to work together or watch this next video and I'll show you how to actually structure Microsoft 365 so small and medium sized businesses and enterprises so your tools scale with you, not against you.